Hello, just wanted to demonstrate uh, an, an application we've just been working on which uh, is a GPS feature generating application. So we've got a, a, a map here um, which is uh, being rendered on an Android tablet and what we're going to do is, and I'll talk it through as we drive, I'm actually in the car, we're going to start the application. It'll zoom out just a little bit so we see the full area. What we're going to do is we're actually going to drive um, just around a, a short circuit um, and what you should see on the map is um, blue dots are actually added to the the, the, um, the road that we're driving along marking our uh, at the points or waypoints I think they're called of our track so we're gathering information from the GPS satellite and actually plop and placing that on the map at regular intervals now I would note that uh, this is an application which uh, is on a non 3G Android tablet so we don't, haven't got, we've got no Wi-Fi connectivity here so this is relying, of course without Wi-Fi we, GPS still runs um, we're using the Esri um, Flex API for this um, the background imagery is actually uh, high resolution TIFF which we've uh, take, put into our map and generate a, a, t a tile package which is a pyramided tile that you can actually store locally on a, on a mobile device um, so that's the, uh, that's the background imagery that uh, this, the data is being drawn on top of we're just uh, about halfway through the loop now so we, what we wanted just to show here is it's possible to generate features using um, a tablet or it could just be as easily be a, a smartphone from uh, just gathering automatically G the GPS signal above. In this case, as I've said, it's going to be a polygon we're going to generate, but we could uh, we could easily make the, make this a line feature or a, or a point feature using the same methodology. So you're probably seeing, if I just move it a little closer, you're probably seeing the the blue dots on the map. Just let me just make sure we get it's clear to see. And we're just about three quarters of the way through. Battery battery life on on these devices is uh, is more limited if you're using GPS in this way. So we probably wouldn't want to sample the data quite as frequently as we are at the minute. Um, the uh, the life expectancy of the device, the battery life of the of the device in this mode would be um, somewhat limited. So we'd have to make adjustments for that. But we've had a number of requests with our. Uh, Esri development uh, on this type of uh, functionality where it's an auto feature generation based on walk or drive in this case. So we're just coming back to uh, the uh, start point or the finishing point. So it's a full loop that we've done and we'll just park the car. And again you should be able to see that track there. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to hit the stop stop button at the top right top corner here, and what you'll see there is uh, the centre of the polygon has been filled in in red. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, and we can zoom into the feature itself, and we can see that it is um, the accuracy is actually quite good. So there's the path that we followed. Um, of course, if we had a high if we had a, an external GPS device that's more accurate than this we'd get uh, improvements in this but that's actually pretty good so what we've done is just drawn that uh, feature on top of the map we could then store that feature um, in ArcGIS server or just online so uh, there it is thanks for watching